What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Raudeza Reviews. I'm Raudeza. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Wonder Woman, and if you've been watching the show, you'll kind of see that already. More specifically, though, I'm a very big fan of Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. It really is the kind of starting point for the DC characters for me growing up watching as a kid. Now, last episode, we actually reviewed the Iron Studios version of Wonder Woman, specifically, again, Linda Carter, and it was only natural to do a follow-up and maybe a comparison video with what Diamond Gallery has to offer, which is a little bit more budget-friendly, comparatively speaking, with Iron Studios. Additionally, as I mentioned in the last episode, unfortunately, there's not too much merchandise that is specific to Linda Carter's version of Wonder Woman, so I'm trying to get as many of them as possible to do a comparative just so that you guys kind of can make a decision on what piece makes sense for you. Now again, I will reiterate, I got a huge backlog of things just sitting in the studio waiting to be reviewed. And as I was doing the review for the Iron Studios Wonder Woman, I actually saw this sitting on one of the uh, cubicles that I have. So it's time to review another tier of this Wonder Woman figure. Today we're going to be reviewing Diamond Gallery's version of Wonder Woman, the Linda Carter statue. Let's take a closer look. Now the head sculpt on this piece is pretty decent, again not photorealistic like the other one and even the Iron Studios version was not as accurate but a lot more accurate. Nonetheless, I still like this head sculpt, it is a little bit more cartoony so to speak, but nevertheless I still think it's pretty well done. I love the stoic nature, I love the way that she's looking, the tiara is done very nice. Some imperfections, of course, and the hair sculpt is not as elaborate, but nevertheless, again, you have to remember the price point, and for this price point, I'd say it's a pretty good head sculpt overall. Now, the midsection and upper torso of this piece is really interesting to me. I definitely love when I see statues of Wonder Woman where she has her arms crossed, showing her bracelets. There's a nice wash on them. I love the silver. Her skin has a bit of a sheen on it. I wish it was done in a more flat paint, but that's what we got, and of course, it has a little bit less detail. Now, the color palette here is fantastic. The red offset against the gold, and of course, the blue satin tights look really fantastic. The lasso really pops out and gives it a nice sense of three dimension. Overall, really well done for this price point again. Now what they did right here was the sculpt in the actual legs. Again, not overtly muscular, but very voluptuous and very toned. The only problem I have is that the lower section in the legs have a discoloration to them. They're a little bit darker, almost like she's wearing dark pantyhose. I don't know, it's really weird. I'll show you what I mean. The sculpt and the boots are fantastic though. The creases look really well done. The color palette really stands out. Classic Linda Carter boots really look fantastic, guys. I love what they did here on that aspect. Now, I really love this base, guys. It's simple, it's round, it's black, and the logo here is literally what you see in the show when the intro pops up, which is really interesting and much more in line with the Wonder Woman figure. And props to R. Martin 2819 who actually commented on this, that the logo on the Iron Studios version is a little bit more modern, and he's absolutely right. I think in this aspect, Diamond Gallery really got it right in terms of matching the logo one for one from the original show, and this looks absolutely brilliant, guys. Now, just like the Iron Studios version, you definitely have to mirror this piece. Absolutely, there is a lot of detail or a lot more detail on the reverse side in terms of her hair sculpt. You can definitely see some more strands, particularly at the bottom, which is really nice, guys. I have to admit, they did a lot more detail on the reverse side, and it looks great. And of course, this is Linda Carter, so you definitely have to mirror the fan service. What they don't ever get wrong with Linda Carter statues is that aspect of it. And then, of course, you see how she attaches to the base. And I have to say, between this fan service and the Iron Studios, I mean, they're pretty much equal. They perfected it, basically. They know Linda Carter, guys. Now, obviously, I did want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with Diamond Gallery version and the Iron Studios version. And they're not quite in scale, but because of the rays in the statue with the Iron Studios, it looks like it is, or the optics of it is like if it's in scale, but it really isn't, okay? So I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. Also, as you can see with the Diamond Gallery, look at the legs. You can see there's a darker shade from the upper portion of her bare skin, which looks really weird, but you know, it is what it is, guys. What are you going to do? Now, a few flaws aside, and they're kind of just nitpicks, I do like a lot of aspects of this piece, and I think it is really awesome at this price point, so it does get my seal of approval. It is definitely a must-own, because this one is just really cool, guys, and it's really budget-friendly, so if you like Linda Carter, if you like having a Wonder Woman version of her, I definitely recommend that you pick up this piece, because it is really badass, guys. I have to admit, I was very impressed with it. Now, before I go, I just want to thank the folks over at Big Bad Toy Store for sending this wonderful 
wonderful piece over for review. And if you're interested in this and other collectibles, please visit www.bigbadtoystore.com. All right, everybody, so that's my official review on Diamond Gallery's version of Wonder Woman, the Linda Carter statue. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next Raudeza Reviews. Oh, by the way, just because I noticed this after the fact when I was doing the editing and I really couldn't do anything about it, uh, that's not a ghost in the background. That's somebody who, for whatever reason, kept walking back and forth in front of my office and just hovering. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> unfortunately, guys, there's no proof of the afterlife on this video. <laughs> not on a Wonder Woman statue video, so sorry about that, guys. I'll see you on the next episode.